Throughout time, people have thought that we were the center of the universe. The Earth was the center and the sun went around and around and the stars rotated around us. Earth and humans were the center of the universe. Well, of course, once we started uh, realizing we're just a part of the solar system going around the sun and then we heard about evolution and human beings are just descended from ape-like creatures like everything else, we began to lose our sense that we belonged anywhere. I look at it in a very different way. I mean, we can only see or sense the world in a very limited way. Our eyes let us see in the visible spectrum of light. Some creatures can see ultraviolet and infrared that we can't see. We only hear a very tiny range of sounds that other creatures uh, hear much more of. We can only smell certain things. But we have instruments, we have created technology that allows us to see all kinds of things, x-rays and, and radio waves. Imagine that way out in the universe somewhere, there's a race of beings that can see and detect everything that we and our machines can detect. And they're going through the universe trying to find life somewhere else. As they go through the universe past billions and billions of stars and solar systems, they wouldn't see all this empty space. You know, our science fiction movies kind of imply there's all this space, but the fact is, Every particle from the tiniest subatomic particle to the biggest super galaxy, everything exerts a pull on everything else. There are little gravitational pulls of everything, which means if you could see gravity, you would see the universe is filled with these tendrils of attraction throughout the universe. And when you come to the Earth, you'd see a planet that is filled with water, not just covering 70% of the surface, but there's water vapor and there are clouds and there are rivers of water flowing through the atmosphere. So they would see this sense of connections and attractions and, and uh, interconnectedness that we don't normally detect. So we do, in fact, belong in the universe. We're an integral part of it, and we're attracted to and, and being pulled in all directions by other things. This is our place on Earth, and it's not empty space.